Curly, Larry, and Moe, otherwise known as the Three Stooges, are one of the most widely known comedy teams in the history of film. Did you know that the person responsible for directing most of their shorts is from right here in Grimsby? October the 7th would have been Del Lord's 125th birthday. Quiet, he means we ain't guilty. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, so Sean, tell us, who was Del Lord? Uh, Del Lord was a filmmaker that was born in Grimsby, and he went on to work with uh, the Three Stooges. That's probably what he's best known for. This week when we're celebrating his 125th birthday, do you think most people in Grimsby are aware of his relevance? Um, he's actually, even amongst film historians, he's kind of forgotten. So it was kind of to me to dig up all that information and then present it. What did you find in your research about, about Del? Uh, he actually was one of the rare people that actually worked from silent to sound and also from color, from black and white to color. So he had a very long career in film, which is almost unheard of. And he actually worked with a lot of celebrities too, like Charlie Chaplin and one bunch of other famous comedians. How did you become interested in Dell? Uh, well, he's born in Grimsby, and also I work in film, right, right for film and TV, so that kind of fostered an interest in it. Most people may be familiar with the Stooges, but what else has he done in the film industry? Uh, he actually won two Oscars. Well, he's nominated for an Oscar for uh, The Loudmouth, and he won an Oscar for uh, a wrestling swordfish, which is a bizarre educational feature, fishing feature. It was a novelty Oscar. It was it's really bizarre. What is it about his work with the Stooges that has resonated for generations to this day? There's kind of a timeless quality of slapstick comedy, and even today, some of the techniques that he pioneered with Three Stooges are seen in movies like Airplane or Home Alone or in TV shows like Modern Family. <laughs> so how did you find out about today's event? Uh, through the library. I came here, I was getting some books, and uh, Michelle, who works it, she's lovely. Um, she said, do you want to come Friday night to the event for the birthday and so on? And I said, sure, yeah. So that's how I found out. Yeah, it's one of the best libraries ever. What, why do you think the Three Stooges has lived on so long to this day? Well, I know I used to watch them as a kid. Uh, I mean, um, they were great, they were funny, and I still watch reruns if there is any. I think they're funny uh, because they're silly and it makes people laugh and it gets them away out of the box of everything of everyday life. They're, they're really, they're cool. The three of them, they're really crazy, but they're cool. <laughs> so in celebrating Dell's 125th birthday here, there is some talk of a film festival, is that right? Uh, that we're potentially hoping for that. We're still in the works, but there might, there may or may not be a film festival. But right now, as part of the festival, we had a stand-up comedy night where we showed some a local filmmaker and a short called Baba Cosmos he did that's a viral video by Bill Hushmandi. And right today, we're showing a, another short movie about the twister that happened in Thorold during the movie Twister. Congratulations to Grimsby for remembering one of their very own. Let's hope that an event like this, as Sean hopes, will turn into a film festival. In Grimsby for The Source, I'm Andrew Thompson.